We have maintained our essential services while protecting the health of our employees and, and of the public. We've had several uh, facilities that we've closed because we couldn't guarantee uh, the social distancing that's being recommended by public health authorities and because we couldn't uh, guarantee the cleanliness of all of, of the surfaces uh, in those buildings. Our libraries, for example, our, our materials, our books, the CDs, uh, we couldn't keep up with the cleaning of those materials and we felt we were placing uh, our, our employees and, and the public's health at risk. The library has moved our, our programming, our resources online and, and our employees are, are helping uh, customers with accessing those materials. Our center 50 plus was also closed because of concerns. Our center, it's a, our senior center and they serve a vulnerable population and uh, we did not want to place our, our elderly uh, residents at risk, so we have closed Center 50 Plus. The meals that were being provided at Center 50 Plus are now available for pickup or are being delivered by the Meals on Wheels program to residents who can't travel to Center 50 Plus. We have gone to almost completely online or telephone uh, service for our building and planning activities. Our, our planners are, are working from home uh, servicing, serving customers, uh, answering questions that, that people who are doing building projects might have. Our inspections are, are still continuing. However, the plan review is now being all done electronically uh, to help uh, avoid the need for people to come in uh, to the city offices. Our essential public safety services are continuing. Our police officers and firefighters are continuing to do a tremendous job of responding uh, to emergencies. We are taking precautions. You know, officers are, are whenever possible trying to first find out what's going on by, by a phone call. Uh, firefighters have changed their procedures rather than the full uh, crew going into a home, for example. One firefighter will go in if it's a medical call and assess the situation before the rest of the crew comes in to help uh, minimize the uh, opportunity, reduce the opportunity for exposure uh, to, the, to the virus. Yeah. Public Works is operating at full strength. Our, our crews are out maintaining the streets, cleaning the parks. Uh, we're continuing with the critical water and sewer services. Uh, we do have some smaller uh, work teams, so we're taking extra uh, care to make sure that their health is maintained uh, so we can continue to provide that water treatment that we need and in treating our wastewater. They're asking for our help in keeping everyone safe and healthy. The importance of social distancing, maintaining that six feet of separation, reducing unnecessary travel, staying home if you can stay home. Uh, the COVID-19 virus is in our community. It's going to be increasing and we need to take action to help slow that spread, flatten that curve of, of the virus, help our healthcare professionals take care of us. First, you can keep yourself healthy. Second, you can help keep Salem healthy. And third, you can help keep our less fortunate neighbors and residents healthy. For your personal health, please practice social distancing. For those essential trips, whether it's for groceries or for a takeout meal, please make those choices locally. To help you with the restaurants, to help you with the takeout meals, uh, we have modified parking to make that easier uh, for you. And when you make those essential trips, please keep them as, as, as brief as possible. Please contact your favorite charity, your favorite local nonprofit organization, and ask them what help they need to serve our less fortunate neighbors and residents. This is a, a very challenging time. This is a public health emergency and those who are, are less healthy, those who are less fortunate need our help and they, they are being helped by nonprofit organizations. So please contact your favorite nonprofit organization and ask them how you can help. What a week. I am so thankful Salem for your cooperation, for your understanding as the city has made changes to our services, as we have imposed restrictions that we would not ever consider unless we were in an emergency. I really, 
truly appreciate everyone's cooperation. It's making a difference. Traveling through the city, I notice where people are staying home. I notice where we are maintaining a social distance. Those small actions make a difference. Thank you. My thanks too to the city employees who have maintained services during this pandemic. To our first responders who don't have a choice whether or not to maintain a social distance. They are helping our neighbors and residents during this emergency. So thank you very much.